Last time on Diana Games Through Time, we looked at Theme Hospital for MS DOS. This game had Diana building her own hospital and hiring staff in order to treat patients suffering a wide range of diseases. The 2D game used an isometric view to simulate the feeling of 3D, but in this episode, we'll be checking out the most graphically advanced 3D game we've seen so far. Welcome to another episode of Diana Games Through Time. In this series, Diana will play a PC game from each year starting in 1978, moving forward to modern times as we watch the graphics and complexity of the games evolve year by year. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at Half-Life for Windows 98. This game has you playing as a scientist who goes to work one day to help out with an experiment. It goes extremely wrong though and opens up a rift to another world. Will Dinah be able to survive the deadly creatures that come through? Keep watching to find out. So here you are with Half-Life, a 3D first person shooter that was one of the most influential games for its time. Anyway, that's just their logo by the way, so don't get freaked out for the guy with that thing in his eye. So, just click a new game here to get started. Okay. And easy is probably the difficulty you'd like. Yes, it is, because <laughs> considering I've never played it before, so... Okay, fantastic. Good and welcome to the Light-Based Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Light-Based Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current top sign temperature is... You can look around with the mouse. Yeah, you're in a you're you're in a train. Now, if you want to walk forward and change your position, you can press W. Okay. See that? Oh. And you can walk to different parts of the place and look around. Basically, you're a scientist working at a huge facility called Black Mesa, and you're just riding the facility's transport system to arrive at the area you actually need to work at. So yeah, feel free to look around, use the WAS keys to walk and the mouse to look around. Those are really the only keys you need. What do you think about the graphics here? And That's pretty good actually. Yeah, it's, it's got a lot of, like they've done, they've focused on the polygons here. I mean like even here the roof. See the roof. It's just, not just. Yeah. I just don't know how this railroad is is up in the air. It's got nothing supporting it underneath. Look underneath. It's on a it's on a bar. Yeah, it's on a bar. But I'm saying that that bar is not being supported. No smoking. Really? Uh, yeah. It's just a bar that's floating. Look, there's a bar. Yeah, see, there's nothing underneath it. Okay, <laughs> okay, you got me, you got me. I do. <laughs> okay, anyway. That's just me. You'll notice you just graphically see the roof. It's not completely flat. You've even got like you know, the bar sticking out. Looks that. Yeah, but the textures are still quite blurry. Oh, even disabled spots. Yeah, it's still blurry. Like you can see the things are blurry and stuff. Um, outside there's a helicopter. Yep. So, so these are what the graphics are kind of like. Anyway, this train ride is super. Well, about five minutes, so we're just going to skip to when you actually arrive. So this train ride just continues for five minutes, and that's the whole beginning of the game. That's the beginning of the game. The idea is to set the setting like you see. But you have to experience this every time you play the game. You'd only play it once, though, at the very oh. start. See? But it's just showing it's quite an advanced... It's not very valuable for money if you're only playing the game once. It's a game you'd, you'd only really want to play through once. It's a storyline and you get to the end of it. It's not like something like Theme Hospital, like last time where... You can a bit do of, different things. Yeah, different things, different yeah. hospitals. It's, it's a linear game mm -hmm. and linear games have that kind of effect. Notice the little loading screen, by the way, the little yellow and it stops. Mm -hmm. That's it loading the next area of the map because it wouldn't have the whole map loaded into memory. So you have that little loading screen oh, to get to the next area. Anyway, the idea is you get the idea here. It's a massive underground Okay. Anyway, we'll skip to when you get there. So here you are arriving. Okay. So I get out now. You can't because the door is locked. Okay. Please stand back from the automated door. Uh, and you got for the security forward. officer to verify your identity. So they're very. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you. And have a very safe and productive day. Good morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. See the mouth even moving. 
So you can't get out of the trap yourself. You need to have the security guard open the door. But what's funny here is look at this window. Mm. It's There's no glass. Yeah. I so technically, so. you could just step out of that. Yeah, <laughs> All this security here. But anyway, you're on your way to work now. You're going to do an experiment today. You're a scientist. You're doing your experiment. Oh, wait a sec. So W walks forward and you can look around with the mouse. Is he going to let me in? Yep, he's letting you in now, see? Pressing all the buttons. So remember to take your finger off W occasionally, so you're not just running into a wall. Here we go, just move back here so you can see what's going on. There you go, so you can go in now. So here we go, welcome to work. Hello, Gordon Freeman, it's good to see you. Hey, Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. Okay. They told you to make sure you head down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Okay. So, head into your hazard suit, and then Where's you can the go down there. Suit? And look at this room. What do you think about this? Yeah. It's quite impressive. So, you don't really know where it is at the moment, but you're supposed to know where it is because you're Gordon Freeman and you're the guy, you know, working here. But anyway, let's go find and see if you know where it is. ridiculous ties. Did he comment on my ridiculous No, he tie? says, I don't know why we have to wear these ridiculous tyres. So you can look up and down in this game. Try and keep yourself not looking too high up. See that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you can look up and down. So just be careful about oh, where yeah, you're, I didn't realize you're looking. Oh, yeah, I didn't realise that, yeah. Yeah. So you couldn't in Wolfenstein 3D look up and down, but you can in this. You got the wrong eye, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't leave through here. <laughs> that mouth, you looking right at his mouth. Uh, <laughs> so you, you don't have clearance for there. You don't work in that part. I wonder what's in there. E, um, e interacts with things. Are you 100% sure that theory is But that door's locked. Well, I was trying to interact with it to open it. <laughs> I'm so, sure you check the so you've been that way. How about you turn around and go this way? Hello. Do you like them just saying hello to you and yeah. stuff? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're really going through this place. If right. you wanna if you wanna walk, so this is the locker room. If you wanna walk, you can hold shift and press W and that's just going around at a slower rate. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um over here you've got your hazard suit. So we're gonna press E to activate it. And the little glass is opened. Now you can go and put your hazard suit on. Oh good. You're in it. Great. Oh, good. To the HEV Mark IV protective system for use in hazardous environmental okay. conditions. Now, where do I go? They need you down in the test chamber. Okay, so I've got to try and find the test chamber. Well, maybe hold shift as you walk so you're not going so fast. And walk. Okay? And and keep it, like, centred so you're looking around the centre. So I'll guide you of where you got to go here. Okay? So it's over this way. So you're having a little bit of trouble with 3D because you're not quite used to looking up, looking down yeah, and stuff. Yeah. You've got to always make sure you're looking straight ahead because if you're looking like this, you can't see where you're going. No, I know. See where you're going. So keep it straight. There we go. So here you are walking around and you're going to go down into the test chamber. Okay. I thought it was Greetings. moving fast before. Yeah. So it's by default you run in this game and if you want to walk, you press that button. You get what I mean? Yeah. So here we go. Looks like you're in the barrel today. You might get out of my way, that guy. So here we go. He'll let you through. Now you can control looking around. <laughs> I don't want to be fully in control of looking. There we go. There's a lift. Now, you need to press the button to open the lift. So the lift button is over here. There you go. Got it. So basically, you have to look at what you're going to interact with. You can't interact with something without looking at it. Do you find it easier to move and shift? Yeah, I do. And you don't have to keep your finger on W all the time. Like, you can still look around without that. Oh, okay. There we go. What do you think about first-person game versus... A third person, so Tomb Raider. Well, this where... one is like you're looking because you yeah. can't see your body or yeah. anything. You're looking, but the other one, you're looking. You're like positioned behind them, yeah. looking at what's coming towards them. What and... do you think's better? Well, to tell the truth, this is a little bit more realistic because who can actually see what's happening behind them? Type okay. Thing? So you can go forward now. 
Do you feel like you've gone quite deep? I do. It's a deep underground experiment here you're going to do today. How do I get into this? Walk and it should open. They're like automatic doors. Yeah. By the way, their hair on their head is like just literally a polygon. It's, it's yeah. not like, it's, it's like drawn on hair. It's not like hair that. that's free. Okay. Is he gonna tell me I can't go in? No, you can go in. Okay. What's that, a toilet thing? I, I don't know. A lot, a lot, of, a lot of testing going is on down serious? here. serious? I wanna see what that is. It's just some water in there. But okay. very bad looking water. It's like it literally just actually. a flat texture. Nothing there. Okay, here we go. Ah, it's good here. Ah, Gordon. Here you are. We just sent the samples under the testing. We boosted the anti-mass from the 105 He's mad. He administrated is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some ways to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In, in the, the test, test chamber. Where's the test? <laughs> that sounds creepy, oh, doesn't no, it? Does. Okay, this way, obviously. So you're okay. going into the test chamber. I don't seem to be talking to them. You're mute. You don't actually say oh, anything. I'm a mute. To make it feel more like you, you don't say things that you don't know how to say. Oh. See, the machines are breaking. Yeah. And they're saying... What is going on with our equipment? It well, what has it done? So, basically, they're... they're pushing their equipments to the limit, okay? They're not mm. supposed to do it. And look, there's these little things here. So we'll keep going. So opening this door. Do you feel right about doing this experiment? Pushing things to the limit and, you know, the yes. equipment breaking, you know? How do you feel? Oh, I don't, I don't like this pushing <laughs> test, test lab. lab. Okay, here we so go. I'm in the right place. Now, do I go that way? If you want to talk to someone, you just press E, by the way. Okay. E, 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 this I'm might just... afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. I wish you wouldn't. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. Mm. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing Especially will go the other wrong. Guy. Like uh, an old movie yes, voice. Yeah. Right. And an American Gordon, old movie voice. confidence in you. We have complete confidence in you. Yeah, that voice is like back to the 1940s or something. Like, so they're you know those old in, yeah. And now you're in the actual voices? test chamber. Here it is. Okay. I'm supposed to go there, I think. Okay. Before we continue. All right, Gordon. Oh. Your suit should keep you comfortable for all this. We especially will be delivered to you in a few moments. Oh, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to Where's 80% the rotors? and hold it there until the carrier arrives. So that's the ladder there. The position yourself up. There we go. Up the ladder. There. Wow. <laughs> that was quite up the ladder, wasn't it? Okay, now, what do I do? E to interact? Yep. Now you've started the rotors. There you go. You can watch it now. Okay. So this is the experiment. And they, by the way, they said the chances of a resonance cascade is extremely unlikely. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitter still. What's going to happen? Two. One. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Well, that's a good sign. <laughs> stage two emitters. I can predict something <laughs> not so good's going to happen. Yeah. We cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Please work as quickly as you can. What am I supposed to do? 
supposed to be doing? They're saying for me to work as quickly as possible. what happens when this thing, this yellow thing, goes in there. So you push it in now. Machine's broken up, you've got to escape now from here. So let's get out. Oh, space bar has jumped. There you go. Remember, this was the oh, two no, scientists. Oh, he's died! Yeah, he's dead. Uh, control out. is crouched, so I'll just crouch for you and jump out from here. There you go. Oh no, I need to get out. It seems to be locked. Oh um, no. Wait. Oh wait, here's someone on the ground. Let's just have a look. Oh, they're trying to... Yeah, that, that guy is dead. So obviously this experiment has gone very wrong. Oh, no. Okay, you, it's, it's a bit fast for you. Okay, jump over. And then you can go, go in. Oh, remember that was the lift to go up. Yes. Okay, now you can press the button. There you go. You remember this place, don't you? You came all the way down here. No, no, yeah. Oh, this hurt too. What happened? Why did you do this? We try to warn them. I'm trying to... I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Gordon, you're alive. Thank God for that hazard suit. I'm afraid to move it and all our phones are out. Please, get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. Okay. You'll need me to activate the retina scanner. The rest of the science team... came from there. You came from there. You came from there. So, but wouldn't I go up... Oh, stop, stop. Up? There's... Look at these creatures in here. Oh. They've started to appear. So from that other world you're yeah, in, they're so, oh, leaking one must into have, One must have escaped and that's what probably killed people. They actually weren't there before. Remember, you walked past and they weren't there. Okay, now he'll he'll come and help you um, with the retina scanner. Oh, so here okay. we go. He'll open it. That's the whole idea. He's gonna, where has he gone? Here he goes. There, he opened it. Oh. I need to get through there quickly. Oh, she's they're breaking the machines. Really? Um, duck. Out. Oh, there we go. Just go through. <laughs> oh, 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 there's a creature. Oh, oh, it's no, jumping no. out of you. Okay, just run away from it. Just run. Ah. Duck. No, not with your head. With the control. You died. Oh, you ran into that later. Duck. So control <laughs> duck is with a button. <laughs> you said duck and you duck. Okay, you're back, which was remember just here at this point. 
Oh, that was the death chamber you were in, yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's all broken. Yeah. It's all I'm broken. holding duck. Okay, here we go. Now you can go duck. on duck. Yeah. I'll, I'll press the duck for you. You duck. just say duck and then I'll duck. Okay. Oh, you can do duck, can you? No, no, no. no. Oh, no, no, quick, quick, jump, jump, jump. I want to get away from him. Ah, duck. duck. Okay. That's Take it off, duck, duck. Ah. Don't go there, don't go there. I'm going over here to try and get it for you. Yep. Yeah. Duck. Okay, there we go. Oh. oh, you found this little pipe thing, so you can use this to break. No. There you Good. go, now you can sneak through. So if the creature is there or something, you can use this to get it. Okay. Oh, that's the elevator. Okay. Wait. Oh, I don't think I want to go in there. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. So okay. you have to find another way up. Smash that open, oh. and there's a ladder there. Okay. Okay, stop. Be careful here. Don't press W, because look where you are. Oh, my god. So I'm just going to jump this for you. Ah! <laughs> Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Ah! Okay, I was I was shooting for you. Oh, there's another one. Shoot, aim at it and shoot. What am I shooting? Shoot, click, 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 click. Oh no, you've run out of bullets now. Oh no. Okay, now you just got to run because you're out of bullets. Just keep running from that thing. It's a scientist. He's gotten a head crab on him. Remember that little oh, creature? Oh, yeah, Goes in the head right. and it turns you into those so, bad yeah, creatures. Yeah, okay, okay, I don't want So want now that. you know what that is. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Oh, there's uh -oh. multiple. Just run past them. You're out of bullets now because you used them up on the other guy. Well, you used them up on the <laughs> other guy. You didn't use so much. Oh, this was that area. Remember, you're nearly out now, remember? Yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah. Wait, so it was, I think it was up this way, like, out to the main <laughs> room. And it was that way. Do you remember this yeah, area? Yeah, I do. I do. And this was that main room yes, you landed at? Yes, yes. And I've got to get out of there. It's Wait. locked. You oh. need to, and there's no one around. Oh, I don't know what to do. But there is a secret passage here. Duck. Oh no! What was that? It died and killed you. I it mean, died and killed I me. Mean, so you went through the passage, right? Yeah. And what happened is as soon as you went through the passage, a thing fell on you. So we'll go through slowly. Wait. Oh, that's I'll, awful. Wait, let me just switch to this. I'll whack it. Oh, that's it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Now, now you can keep going. Can I get out that way? No, but there's a little secret passage up, up here. There. So jump up. and control. 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 Yep. Yep, and now you can go through. Okay. There. Okay. Oh, there was a scientist in there. He's let me get him. Oh, he's worried the head. Oh no. Nah. nah, he's bad now. Okay. <laughs> get about him. Uh oh. Oh no. That one's dead. Right, this is. Wait. I'm getting it. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, is this actually scary? I can't get it. Like, there's another creature. Can't break it open. Wait, is there a button on you? Okay. There, you can go through. Okay, go. Oh no! Wait a minute. Are you I'm clicking, clicking, clicking them. So clicking with the mouse button. Oh, okay. Oh, there they are. Oh, no. There we go. Got it. <laughs> okay, he's dead. You can keep going now. Do you find this scary trying to escape? I, yeah, but it's not... It's not as immersive as other games have been for some reason. Really? Yeah. What is it? I don't know, it's just... I've been, I don't know, I've been more scared in other games. Okay. I can't, I can't explain. Well, it's not actually a horror game, it's a first person shooter. Uh oh. Is he good or bad? Oh, he's, he's just walked past. Maybe you can just get out here. Ah! Oh, 
Oh, and one of those head crabs were in there. Great. Okay. Well, anyway, um, I'm just going to skip a little bit forward into the game. So this is a bit better done, by the way. This is a little bit later. You've actually made it to the surface now. But unfortunately, there's this... I couldn't have been too far away from the surface before. Yeah, some army-type people have been sent in to um, cover up this whole situation. So they actually want to kill all the scientists now. Oh, that's nice. And the nice. other creatures too. So they can come outside to the surface. I don't think I want to if you think that's what they're going to do. So, Orc, interact. <laughs> You've got to be terrible quick. terrible damn thing. Now, go! Oh, there's a... Oh. Oh. Just run, run! <laughs> Just keep running across the skate. That's my shoot. Now, see, that was insane. So it's a bit too hard, but I just wanted to show you what our, really? outside looks like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we just stop there, see, outside. Oh, that's ridiculous. Wait. Well, they're army people, what do you expect? They even throw grenades and stuff. Yeah, there are. So you can heal up. Okay. Oh, and there was another one. I didn't oh. see. But anyway, you get the picture of how this game works and what yep. it's like. What give a? What do you think of this game? Well, the graphics are pretty good. Yeah. Um, it does make you feel as if you're really there, but I don't know. Just um. Just didn't seem as immersive. I was, I, I was honestly not scared. I've been more scared in other games. It wasn't a horror game, though. Yeah. Yeah. But it's still these creatures coming to kill you. I mean, yeah, it was uh, that is scary, scary but yeah. the game didn't make me scared. I okay. Don't know. Well, there we go. That was Half Life from 1998. We'll see you guys next time um, with. Uh, oh, you even kicked. Did you see I that? know. We'll see you guys next time. You kick us. <laughs> People, In 1999, with yet another game. See you guys. See ya.